This conference will now be recorded. So the topics that we are going to cover there, we will see post invoices for purchase orders with down payments. So we will see down payment processing. Okay, how the down payment happens in the PO. Okay, then subsequent activity, how, how it is related to Miro and all we will see. Then post invoices for purchase orders with security retention. So we will understand what is the security retention how it is done in the purchasing cycle, we will see. Then handle invoices with contract profits. So these are the topics we will be covering in the today's session, okay? So uh, we will be starting first down payment, okay? So in, in a purchase order, in a purchase order, you can plan a down payment. So sometimes what happens is uh, when you purchase the material from a supplier, supplier may ask you to make some initial payment, make some payment, even before he delivers the material to us, like 10% of the total PO value or 20% of the PO value, it depends. So you pay some amount in advance to the vendor before the material delivery. So that is called down payment, okay? You can enter a per percentage value or an absolute amount for the down payment at the header or item level in a purchase order. This I will show it in the system. So how you can enter a amount or you can enter the percentage in the PO, I will show you when we go to the system, okay? You can also define a date by which the down payment must be made. So in the, in the PO, you, you can enter the date also by the date which you have to make some uh, down payment to the vendor. We, I will show it in the system. The down payment monitor helps you to monitor POs for which down payments must be made or have been made already. Okay, so in the SAP, we have a separate transaction called down payment monitor where you can monitor the POs for which down payment is still pending, for which down payment is already made. All those things you can monitor using this down payment monitor transaction. I will show you this in the system. Okay, so basically what happens is uh, if we recollect our purchasing cycle, normal cycle, you first you create the purchase order, creation of purchase order, then goods receipt, normal process, okay. and after that, invoice verification. Invoice verification. So, but in case of down payment, what happens is after the purchase order creation, there will be a down payment. So it is posted through a separate transaction. I will show it in the system. So let's say you created the PO for a value of, let's say, uh, 1000 thousand euro. Okay. And the vendor asks for the down payment, let's say 10%. 10% of the PO value. Or, or let's say he may ask for a direct amount, let's say a 50 euro. Just give me that. So this can be entered in the purchase order directly, okay? And this you will post it. So in the PO, you will enter this. You will enter this in the PO directly. It can be entered at item level or, or header level. I will show it in the system. And then you do the down payment processing, okay? I will show you this will be done by normally by finance. And after that, you will receive the material and then there will be an invoice verification. During the invoice verification, system will say that there is some down payment pending. Down payment is already done. Okay. So this we will see it in the system. Okay. So the one which we are discussing today uh, is basically the integration between our materials management, MM, and the financial accounting, FI. FI. So what happens is you create the purchase order with down payment. Okay or sometimes you can they can directly create a down payment request but we will see how the down payment is entered in the purchase order we will see that and then this is tracked through down payment monitor monitor okay and finance people 
they will make a down payment request and then they will post the down payment down payment okay and then after that the material is received and when the invoice verification is done this along with the invoice amount this down payment value down payment is will be cleared okay so this we will see it in the system how to execute this how it is handled in the system we will see so basically when we create the purchase order when we create the purchase order purchase order will have a value okay so for that you will enter the down payment either you can enter the percentage or or you can enter the direct value okay so after that what happens is finance people they will post the down payment they will post the down payment okay and when the invoice is invoicing is done they will they can clear the down payment they can clear the down payment. and during invoicing the system will display that information that the down payments already exist okay so this i will show it in the system so let's go to the system uh, i will create a PO. I will create a PO. so i am creating a pivot and if you see here the pivot value is 1000 euro the pivot value is 1000 euro okay now uh, how to enter the down payment so the down payment the information can be entered at header or in the item details so if you go to the invoice now if you go to the invoice tab in the item details here you see there is a field called dp category down payment category if you open this you see here you have three options mandatory down payment no down payment voluntary down payment. okay and also it is available at header level also so if you go to header here payment processing there is a tab called payment processing here you have dp category same thing is available at header level also at header okay so we will do from header so what i will do let me select mandatory down payment select it just click on the button enter the moment you enter you will get this extra phase down payment percentage down payment amount and due date okay so the one which we discussed okay here you can enter a percentage value or an absolute amount for the down payment at the header or item level in view so i will enter at the header level so here you can enter 10 percent let's say 10 percent under wants 10 percent of down payment enter the down payment 10 percent then if you check system will calculate the amount so let me click on this check. so it is it is asking for the date okay what i will do let's say po delivery date is 30th and we want to make the uh, down payment by 25th so enter the date now again check see now if you see system has calculated the down payment amount 10 percent 10 percent of po value so what is a po value po total value is thousand euro okay if you go to conditions total po value is thousand euro 10 percent of thousand is hundred so system has calculated another method is let me let me come out of this Another method is you can directly enter the amount. So let me start fixing again. Enter the vendor, material, quantity, and plant. Okay, now let me go to header. Okay, select DP category, mandatory down payment. Enter. Now here, this time, enter the due date, and then I'll enter the amount directly here. 100 euro. Okay. So that is also possible. That is also possible okay so now let us let me save the PO I'll save the PO so PO has been created okay so PO has been created so this is a PO number let me make the let me make a note of the PO number okay this is a PO number okay. now 
the next is down payment 